Bacalar is one of those places that I wanted to visit since I saw a photo of it for the first time. We had been to Yucatan twice, but never made it here. Until now. I was lost in the woods, under dust, and the fairies found me. And they led the way, they cleared the way to my home. We're just here watching the sunrise. I cannot even open my eyes, so... No, it's way too bright. No. <laughs> but wow! Definitely come here to one of those spots where you can watch the sunrise. They're public. It's called, I think, Paseo Piatonal. There's several around the lagoon. And there's not that many people right now. If you wake up early enough, then you'll be the first ones here. We weren't. <laughs> we were mm, no. too late. We woke up at 6.45 this morning because the sunrise is at 7.20. It's probably not that early for a lot of you, but for us it's insane. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. we should get used to it because it was worth here, it. It's totally worth it. It's so amazing. Beautiful. So it actually took me a couple of years to get here. It's a little bit further away. The thing is you fly to Cancun, you take the car to Tulum, but from Tulum it's another two and a half hours drive. Yes. But this time we were like, we have to visit it because you know. I've been talking about it since forever. Yes, now we're gonna go change and then we're gonna have breakfast. I've heard very good things about the restaurants in Bacalar, so hopefully they live up to it. One of the first observations we made in Bacalar is that the local restaurants are not only very affordable, but also extremely delicious. So this place is called Enamora. It's not sponsored. Uh, but they have a lot of organic food and we love organic food. This place seems to be the place to have breakfast in Bacalar because there's a lot of people and it's very charming, I like it a lot. Of course, Joss had to order the same as me. Hey, I asked first and then you were like, copy paste. Such a copycat, dude. breakfast it was delicious it was so good guys man and it was super cheap we paid 207 pesos what I like about Bacalar is that a lot of these restaurants seem to be locally owned yeah that's the difference between Tulum and Bacalar there everything looks like it's owned by big investors or a foreigner. foreign investors <laughs> yes and here everything is owned by locals and that's super nice we wanted to stay that way <laughs> yeah I know we don't want it to change is the one time I decided to wear a white dress and check this out. It's already stained. This happens every time Joss is eating. Great. So we are now walking through the center. Bacalar, the city, is super small. You can walk through it, you don't need a car. Only you need a car if you want to go to the cenotes and other places that are around Bacalar. But from oh, here, you can sun. go everywhere. The sun the is sun out. The sun is out, finally. <laughs> oh my God. Check this out, behind me is where we had dinner yesterday and right now it's super empty, actually it's closed, <laughs> maybe that's why. But yesterday it was super full, there were so many people and somehow the city really comes alive at night and while during the day there's nothing happening. Actually yesterday the people from Akira Ice Rolls in this part allowed Yannick to make my ice cream. I was, I was very shocked. <laughs> I'm gonna make ice rolls now, I have no idea what to do. It was super good actually. But I didn't think it was gonna come alive because Yannick was doing a very bad job at the beginning. No, I wasn't. See ya, see? <laughs> no hay diferencia. Ay, mira nada más esa técnica. Esa es muy difícil. Vamos, Yannick, vamos. Wow. wow. <laughs> They roll the ice cream in a way that is super weird and it comes from Thailand apparently. Please enjoy. <laughs> so now you did it. Now I know how to make Thai ice cream. Mm -hmm. There's so many grasshoppers in this bush. It's like a concert. Just is like, what the heck? I'm cringing so hard. <laughs> it's super cloudy today. 
On the one side is good because at noon it's super hot, so the clouds really help to make it a little bit colder. But the lagoon looks way nicer with sun. Yeah, we're praying that we get a little bit of sun later because we're gonna go on a sailing tour. It's so funny because everybody's staring at Yannick vlogging. <laughs> and people literally stop behind him to be like, wow, really? camera, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday it was so sunny the entire day and it said that today it was gonna be sunny too, but it's not and I'm super sad about it. There are a few drops coming down. We have bad luck. Sad. No. <laughs> I love these cars that are just like palomitas, elotes. Life in Bacalar seems so much slower and relaxed and just nicer than everywhere else. And I don't know, I think it's because it's so small, so people just walk around and enjoy the heat and the lagoon. The center is a nice place to walk around. It's pretty small, but if you're interested in sightseeing, you might want to visit the Fort of San Felipe, which is pretty much the only site we found in Bacalar. Of course, apart from the lagoon itself. Back in the 1800s, it was built to protect against British colonies and pirates. There, you can see the lagoon. Right in front of us is one of the main streets of Bacalar. To be honest, I don't know what's the name, but I think it's super nice to walk around it because they have a lot of restaurants that have a view to the lagoon. That's what we did later that day. But first, we wanted to go on our sailing tour. Guys, I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is super crazy strong and it's super cloudy. We've heard that Bacalar is always windy, but right now the guy from the sailing tour agency told us that today is especially windy. We can still go on the tour if we wanted to, but we want to appreciate all the beautiful colors of this lagoon with the sun. Like, sun! Oh my god! For two <laughs> seconds and then it goes away, it's super annoying. What should we do? Schwierigen Scheidung Leute! Considering that we wanted to bring our camera with us, we decided to wait. But maybe it's destiny. Maybe tomorrow we're gonna have an amazing morning. Maybe. I'm hopeful for tomorrow. Otherwise, you're gonna see us there in the middle of the storm <laughs> sailing. <laughs> for the rest of the day, we went to a beach club where we didn't see the sun at all. We had dinner at one of the restaurants at the lagoon where it finally rained. But at the end, the sky cleared up a little bit, so our hopes for the next day were high. And in fact... It's a new day and as you can see, the weather is so much better. It's super sunny, super nice weather, there's not that much wind. And I'm excited, I think it was a good decision. because it's very windy but this tour is super relaxing we're having fun this place is amazing oh my god so now we're here at the Kennel of the Pirates. We're gonna stay here for 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Then we're gonna keep going. But I just wanna swim, so cheers. <laughs> so just now when I'm going in, there's a huge cloud and the sun is not coming back. Great. This looks amazing though. Yannick brings the bad vibes into the lagoon. <laughs> Great, my dear. You made it salty. Los alaste. Los alaste mucho sal. Yeah, liebe Leute, so I guess we're gonna keep going soon <laughs> before the sun gets out. Get away with your cold hands. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Huh? When the time was up, we kept going. We had a quick look at the Cenote de la Bruja, where we were able to see the drop from 2 to 90 meters. Afterwards, we made a second stop close to a protected island full of birds. We 
ready to our second stop, the island of the birds. Uh -huh. La Isla de las Aves. 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 <laughs> so that's super cool, I love birds. And then we went back to the shore. Even though there were some clouds in between, we were lucky to have experienced the lagoon in all its glory that day. Guys, we're back on land. I had a lot of fun. It was Me too. Amazing. It was really nice. It was yes. a very nice sailing tour. Very nice water, very nice lagoon. Yes, the, the people that we took it with is called Velando Bel Ando. And they were super nice. They made sure to explain everything we wanted to know. Yeah. And actually by the end, I had to run out of the sailing boat because I had to pee like crazy. Me too. And they say you're not allowed to pee or poop in the lagoon. So <laughs> I had to run to the toilet and I'm happy to say I'm pee free. I am pee free. <laughs> okay. Now, to understand why you shouldn't pee or poop into the lagoon, you need to know that the lake is an extremely delicate ecosystem. How delicate it is showed itself during the last rainy season when runoffs made it lose its beautiful blue color entirely. But these runoffs are not the only problem Bacala is facing. In the lagoon you can find one of the largest freshwater bacterial reefs in the world. Here we're not allowed to pass. Here's the Zona de Estromatolitos. So estromatolites are made out of millions of bacteria and it's apparently the oldest life form on Earth. They basically look like rocks. Sadly, I cannot see any. <laughs> Sad. It's important to not ignore these barriers because when being touched or stepped on, the stromatolites can easily get damaged. Now, there are a couple more things that everyone can do to take care of their lagoon. For example, don't take these snails out of the water. Don't leave your body fluids or really anything that doesn't belong in the lagoon. And try not to wear sunscreen. The manager of the hotel we were staying at explained to us why. Please not go into the lagoon with sunscreen or any tanning oil, even if it's biodegradable, because the lagoon has it's a small ecosystem. It's not a, it cannot receive the same amount or the same waste as the ocean can. It has a different pH, so it, actually it's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So it's been proven that even biodegradable products can affect and change the colors of the lagoon. Yes. Speaking of the hotel. So we want to show you the hotel because it's unlike any other hotel where we have stayed before. And we think it's a great opportunity for us to learn how to be responsible with the environment while traveling. So check it out. So this is the place that we're talking about. It's called Macaba or Macaba. Das ist ja Macaba. <laughs> oh my God, cringe. And as you can see behind me, there are some amazing plants. There's a little garden in front of it. So pay attention to it because this is no traditional garden, okay? There's something special about it, but we'll tell you more about it when we're in our room. Apart from looking quite Instagrammable, what we liked about this hotel was its effort to have as little impact as possible on the environment. For example, the pools need less chemicals because they are being filtered by small gardens with plants and rocks. Rainwater that falls onto the roof runs down these chains into a storage and can be reused in other ways. In the rooms, it's really hard to find any plastic. For example, instead of a plastic bottle of water, they give you a glass bottle that they refill for free every single day. and. These bottles that they refill with biodegradable soap and shampoo. But now, let's talk about the real shit. And by the real shit, Yannick means actual poop. The thing is that in this hotel, they try to generate as little waste as possible, and that includes the water from the toilet, so literally your shit. <laughs> the water from the shower and the water from the sink. This water actually goes through an evapotranspiration tank, which then makes the water suitable for plants. So do you remember the garden that we saw at the beginning? That's exactly what they're using it for, to grow bananas, papayas, and different types of things. So I'm very excited for the future of this hotel. Yeah. And if you want to stay in more eco-friendly hotels during your trips, then do it. Before we had to leave this beautiful place, there was one more thing we wanted to do. Ready? And right. 
and left. Wow, we're so professional, I can't believe it. It's 5.30 p.m. We have one hour until the sun goes down and we want to make it all the way to the other side. Oh, I'm so tired, man. Yeah, we didn't get that far. <laughs> I think we can make it. Positive thinking, guys. That's all we need. Why is there something on the lens? Great. My head against the wall. Yes, somehow I just never We made it guys! Yes. Now we're here, look at us! Cheers boat! Cheers! No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, get ready. Get ready, okay? Yeah. You ain't helping me at all The memories they will twist and turn Damn it! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. Bacalar, I love you. <laughs> Bacalar, te amo. <laughs> Bacalar, je t'aime. Bacalar, ich liebe dich. Weirdo. <laughs> okay, should we go back? Yes, let's go. In the back of the schoolyard Where we used to play hide and seek Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You smile alone, my God. Okay guys, here we are back in the car. Tomorrow my muscles are gonna hurt like a hell. Check this out, check these guns out. <laughs> so this was our time in Bacalar. I don't wanna leave. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Uh, but we're gonna come back for sure. Yes we will, I'm pretty sure. Once a year at least. Maybe we're gonna move here? So guys, we hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. I will see you next week. Adios muchachos. Cheers.